It's never too late to pick up a new sport. Today, I'm gonna try out fencing and hopefully not hurt myself. Okay, we are here with Brando, who is gonna be my coach today. So, when I think of fencing, I think more of like period dramas, amazing films. Can you tell me a little bit about the fencing landscape in today? Like you can see in uh, big movies, yeah. before it was just like a way to kill somebody for honor or pride. How it works, we had three different disciplines, and uh, these are called uh, uh, saber, which is the one that you're holding. Then we have the epe and the foils. For the saber, the target area is from the waist up, and you can hit even with the cut of your weapon, so not just with the tip. For the foil, the thinner guard over here, you can hit just with the tip, and as you can see here, you have a little button, and the target area with the foil is just the torso area. While with the epe, is the one that resemble uh, the most, the old duel, still just with the tip, but the target is the whole body, and the first one who gets the touch wins. Ibtihaj Muhammad is an American fencer who was famous to wear a hijab during her fencing competition. Yeah. Have you seen the interest of fencing increase since then? She brought a lot of attention to the world of fencing. It was such a more important uh, topic, which is like the hijab, especially in these uh, days in the United States. She. Uh, definitely use this chance yet with the media mm -hmm. to bring a lot of attention to fans. Do you think it's a possibility that eventually women will be able to compete against men? I think so and I can surely tell you that right now there's some top women that they can beat some top men. It was super inspiring to see everyone else in here kicking ass so I definitely will come back and try it out again. <laughs>